Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make another YouTuber statue. This time, I'll be showing you how to make Zaxy Zack. Oh, and by the way, just in case you have any more YouTube-related needs, feel free to check out the card system and the link below down in the description for my YouTuber statue tutorials playlist. There is a lot of them in there, guys. Trust me, you'll probably find some other ones that you'd like to make. Moving on, if you want to make Zack, here's what you're going to need. You will need some white stained clay and some black wool, grab dark grey wool, and some white wool, some red wool, and finally grab yourself some dark blue wool, and those are the only colours that you're going to be needing, so once you have each one of those, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right here, you're going to want to kick off Zek with a row of 8 blue wool in a row on the floor, that's 8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 just like that. And once you have your row of eight dark blue wool, this is what you want to do next. So going from left to right for row number two, do one black wool, two red, two black wool, two red, one black wool. For the next row, do the same thing except use white wool instead of red wool. So that'll be one black, two white, two black, two white, one black. For the next row, do one dark grey, six black wool, one dark grey. For the next row, do two dark grey, one black, two dark grey, one black, two dark grey. For the next two rows, do two black wool, one dark, one dark grey, two black, one dark grey, two black wool. And like I said, that's for two rows. So once you've done one, do the exact same thing to the next one up. Then for the next row, do two dark grey, one black, two dark grey, one black, two dark grey. For the next row, do one black. One dark grey, one black, two dark grey, one black, one dark grey, one black. For the next row, do one dark blue, one black wool, four dark grey, one black, one blue. For the next row, do one dark grey, one dark blue, four black wool, one blue, one dark grey. For the next row, do one dark grey, one black, one white, two black, one white, one black, one dark grey. For the next row, do three black wool, two red wool, three black wool. And what you want to have so far, guys, should look exactly like this. The reason that I'm showing you this now is because this next bit is going to be made in a more unconventional way. This is what we're going to do. So, coming all the way up to these two red middle blocks that we just placed, we want to extend these two red blocks each up by nine. So, on top, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the right one as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, etc., all the way up to the top. What we now want to do, on top of this most left-hand black wall that we have right here, we want to do this sequence of blocks. And it's going to be easier, guys, if you move the black and the dark blue closer to each other. So, on top of this black wall block, do this sequence of blocks. Do one dark blue, one black, 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 one dark blue, until you are equal height with that top red wall. What you then want to do is directly next to that row that you've just formed, you want to do a vertical row of black wool, like that. Then next to that row, starting from the bottom again, you want to do the exact same pattern. So one blue, one black, one blue, one black, one blue, one black, etc, etc, until you eventually reach the top. And once you've done that on the left hand side of your statue, you now want to do the exact same thing on the right. So starting from here, starting with the pattern again, do one blue, one black, one blue, one black, one blue, one black, etc, etc, guys, you get it. And then, going right of that, you then want to do a row of black wool. And finally, you want to do 
one blue, one black, one blue, one black, etc, etc. And the reason that we're doing it this way is just so that we understand the checkered pattern which is featured on most of this statue. It's just his shirt. So that's what you want to have for most of the torso. Once you've got all of those rows taken care of, you then, for the next row, going from left to right, want to do three black wool, two white clay, three black wool. And for the final row of the torso, do one dark blue, one black, four white clay, one black, one dark blue. And what you want to end up with should look exactly like this. This is what you want to have so far, guys. Once you've got this taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So we now want to move on to the arms. Let's start off with the right one. So come all the way up to the top right hand corner of the statue we're looking for this dark blue wool right here so the way that we want to start off the arm we want to have the top six rows of the arm correspond with the shirt so we just want to follow the same pattern i'll show you what i mean so going right of this dark blue block do this sequence of blocks do one black one blue one black one blue now we want to follow the pattern that we have on the shirt and we want to go down by five rows now. So the next row will be black wool and that'll be one. The next row will be the exact same pattern. It'll be black, blue, black, blue. We now have to do this three more times. So the next row, black. Next row, black, blue, black, blue. And now we just have to do this one more time and we just want to have an entire row of black if you guys can see what I'm talking about. You then want to make the next three rows, three solid rows of white stained clay. So that'll be one, two, three. Then make the next row entirely dark blue wool. Then do a row of red wool. Then finish this off with a row of white stained clay. And you'll want to end up with something that should look exactly like this. And once you've done this on the right hand side, you want to do the exact same thing on the left hand side. So let's come up to the left. And first of all, we're just going to do going left of this upper left hand corner. We want to do one black, one blue, one black, one blue. Then we want to do five rows down following the pattern of, of the shirt. So that'll be one, then two, then three. Four, five, like that. So you just want to do the five rows of the shirt after you've done that first initial row, of course. Once you've done that, we then want to do the same thing that we did on the other side. So we want to do three rows of white stained clay. One, and two, and three. Then we want to do a row of dark blue, followed by a row of red followed by a row of white stained clay and what you want to end up with so far should look exactly like this nice and simple guys I, I don't know whether i've made it complicated by making it like this but hopefully i've made it a little bit easier all right guys so once you have that taken care of and pause this if necessary if you're still working on any of that of course we can then move on to the rest of the statue so come all the way around to the back of the statue and come all the way down to the bottoms of the feet take out your dark blue wool and coming out of each end of the bottom of your statue do two rows of three dark blue wool so that's one two three and this other side as well one two three then connect each one of those third blocks together like that what we're now going to do is we're now going to build up the entire back of our statue on top of these eight back blocks that we have right here exactly how we just built up the entire front of the statue let's get to it so on top of this back row of eight we now want to do 12 solid rows of black wool so that's 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then we've just got to fill those in a pretty tedious process but hey we've got 12 rows of black and those are going to be the back of zex legs they're very very simple although the back the actual back is a little bit more complicated and it's a little bit different to the front he's not just got a shirt on his back he's actually got something interesting so once you've completed your 12 solid rows of black wool you then for the next row going from left to right want to do uh, one dark blue one black one dark blue two black one dark blue one black one dark blue 
for the next row. Do one dark blue, one black, four red, one black, one dark blue. For the next row, do two black wool, four red, two black wool. For the next row, do one dark blue, two red, two black wool, two red, one dark blue. For the next row, do an entire row of red wool. For the next two rows, do one red, two black, two red, two black, one red. And like I said, that's for two rows, so of course, once you've got the first row taken care of, do the exact same thing to the row above. Then for the next row, do an entire row of red wool. Then for the next row, do uh, one dark blue, one black, one dark blue, two black, one dark blue, one black, one dark blue. For the next row, do an entire row of black wool. And for the final row of the back, just do one dark blue, one black, one dark blue, two black, one dark blue, one black, one dark blue, and what you'll want to end up with in total should look exactly like this. As you can see, Zek has a skull on his back, it looks pretty cool. Now, once you've reached this point right here, this is what you want to do next. So, we now obviously have to add the backs of the arms on the statue. This is easy, however. All we have to do to do the backs of the arms is look directly forward at what we did for the fronts of the arms and copy exactly that onto the back of our statue exactly as I'm doing now. So block for block, what you did on the front of your statue, do the exact same thing on the back of your statue. You probably don't want to use any white stained clay in the patterning of his shirt, that'd probably go wrong. But there you go, that is the first arm done. Let's do the same thing to the other arm. So this other arm, we're going to be doing the exact same thing here. We're just going to copy exactly what we have on the front of our statue. There's no instructions required, guys. All we have to do is just look directly forward at what we did there, and then that will be that, guys. So, what you want to end up with for the entirety of the back should look exactly like this. There you have it, guys. Nice and easy. Nothing complicated about that whatsoever. Once you've got the back taken care of, and obviously pause this if necessary if you're still working on any of that, of course, we then want to move on to the side. So come all the way over to this side of your statue and come all the way down to the bottom of the feet. First of all, we're going to be filling in this left-hand row, this one right here, and we're going to be going up. I'll tell you a sequence of blocks. Then we'll do the exact same thing for this right-hand row here now. So, on top of this left block that we have right here, do this sequence of wool. Do one dark grey, one white, eight black wool, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then one dark blue. Like that. For the next row, do uh, one dark grey, one black, seven dark grey, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one dark blue, then finally one dark grey. And that is what you want to have for the side leg, guys. Nice and easy. The side of the arm is even easier. Let me explain why. So, to complete the side of the arm, all you have to do is just completely copy whatever color you have on the left and right hand side of you. So where you have white stained clay, use white stained clay. Where you have black wool, black. Where you have dark blue wool, dark blue, etc, etc. And that holds true when you get to the top of the shoulder as well. For the top of the shoulder, do that exact same strategy and come in by three. One, two, three like that. You can come in more, don't come in by any less. And what you'll end up with should look exactly like this. Obviously, he doesn't have stripes on the sides of his arms. That's just the way that the statue had to be done, guys. Once you've got the first side of the statue taken care of, we now want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side of the statue. And I do mean the exact same thing. So to complete this side, just as with the back of the arms, all you have to do is just look directly forward at what you just did, quite literally what you just did, and you just have to copy that onto this side of your statue. You can just peek directly ahead and see what you did. 
that's the side leg identical to the opposite side. Now, for the sides of the arms, we don't even need to use that strategy at all. All we have to do for the sides of the arms is, of course, just copy whatever color we have on the left and right hand side of us, and it doesn't get too much more difficult than that. So, we're now just filling in this opposite side of the arm, and we also fill in the top of the shoulder, and we come in by three. We've done one, two, three just like that and what we'll end up with should look identical to that opposite side of the statue which it does perfect guys now once you've got the front the back and both sides then there's only one thing left isn't there we have got zexy zex head to do so once you've reached this point right here and pause this if necessary of course you now want to come to the front of the statue and you want to come all the way up to the top of the torso take out your white stained clay and on top of this first of on top of these eight middle blocks of the torso, place a row of eight white stained clay, like that. Then in front of that row of eight white stained clay, do an additional row of eight white stained clay. Then in front of this row, going from left to right, do this sequence of blocks. One black wall, six white stained clay, one black wall, like that. We're now going to build up Zek's face directly on top of this first initial row that we have right here. And like I said, we'll build, we will, we, we, <laughs> why am I getting tongue tied? We will be building directly on top of it. So going from left to right, the second row of Zek's face to two black wool, five white stained clay, one, two, three, four, five, one black wool. For the next row, do uh, three black wool, two white clay, one red, one white, one black wool. For the next row, do uh, four black wool, one white stained clay, one red wool, one white wool, one black wool. And to finish off the face, just do four solid rows of black wool. One, two, three, four, and of course, one, two, three, and four just like this and that is exactly what you want to have for zex face guys once you've got that taken care of and pause this if necessary of course you now want to come all the way around to the back of his head and where we have this first initial row of white stained clay here we want to with our black wool extend this row of white stained clay all the way over the back of the statue until it overhangs the back of the statue by two rows exactly like this exactly how the front of the head overhangs the front of the statue by two rows we then want to take the two back corners of the head raise them up until they are equal height with the front of the head or somewhere close and then connect them to the front of the head and we also want to connect them together as well so we just want to turn the head into a big giant cube shape like that we then just want to fill said cube shape in with black wool then that will be the head almost complete then we've just got one thing left to do guys which will be zek's headphones as you guys might know zek tends to wear a pair of white slash dark blue headphones which we will be doing after we fill in the head they're very easy don't worry about it so we just boom there we go we've just got to fill a couple more faces of the head in and then we can move on to the final part of this tutorial which like i said is going to be the headphones but this is a bit of the uh, a bit of the tedious part of this tutorial but unfortunately just like the rest of it has to be done as well so we've just about finished filling in the head guys we've just got one more row left and what you want to end up with should look exactly like this as you can see that is the base head complete all we have to do now like i keep telling you guys is the headphones so come to the left hand side of zek's head come and find the two middle blocks of zek's head and come all the way up to the top of the head Place two white wool at the top center of the head in front of it. Then extend those two white wool down each by two. One, two. Then down by two with the dark blue. One, two. Then two with the white wool. Bam, there you go. That is the right ear cuff of the headphones. Let's do the left ear cuff while we're at it. We're on the opposite side of the head. Two middle blocks, white wool. Down by two. One, two. Down by two with the dark blue, one, two. Down by two or down by one with the white wall. And what you want to have should look the exact same as what we have on that opposite side. Once you've got the left and right hand side done, all we have to do now is just connect them together at the top, guys. So just do a row 
or two rows of white wool that connects the left hand side of the headphones to the right hand side of the headphones and bam that is what you want to end up with guys very very simple and once you've got all of that taken care of you should be left with your fantastic looking Zek statue it does look quite nice I am a fan of the statue there's a lot of going on so hopefully guys this is what you're left with hopefully you've managed to make this Hopefully you like it, and if you guys do like this statue, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could give me a like, a favorite, a share, anything you'd feel like doing to help me out, guys, I would just vastly appreciate. I only make these YouTubers due to your individual requests, which leads me on to the next bit. So if you guys would like to, feel free to comment down below what YouTuber would you like to see me na make next. It yeah, you know, I'm not going to give you suggestions. I was going to say maybe Lion Maker or maybe this guy or maybe that guy. Nah, nah. Guys, tell me, who do you want to see next from YouTube? And again, if you would guys like, favorite, share, please, I would really appreciate that. Feel free to check out the call system and the link below down in the description for my YouTuber statue tutorials playlist. I think that there's something crazy, like over like 50 or 70 YouTubers or something insane like that. There's that many in there. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.